Alitosis is a condition in which someone gets to emanate unattractive odor from their mouth. This is often called bad breath. Mouth odor. Yes, what you would call mouth odor. And this can be very, very embarrassing, especially when it is being pointed out by a friend, a relative, or come to imagine, a co-worker. Almost everyone gets to experience mouth odor once in a while. In fact, approximately 30% of the population, that is one in every four persons, get to experience bad breath at a point in time. This means when you have a group of four persons, persons, at least one of them would be experiencing bad breath at that point in time. There are three types of bad breath. We have the temporary bad breath, we have um, the chronic bad breath, and we have the pseudoalitosis, that is false bad breath. Temporary bad breaths are often easier to get rid of. You can just simply use mouthwash or brush your teeth and then it goes away. An example of this is when you sleep and then you wake up and you discover that you are emanating some kind of unpleasant odor from your mouth. You can simply brush your teeth, use a mouthwash and the odor is gone. That is temporary bad breath. Chronic bad breaths are bad breaths that are always there. Either you practice proper hygiene, either you don't practice proper hygiene, either you eat any kind of food, it is just there. And it seems like there is nothing you can do about it. These bad breaths are often caused by um, maybe chronic diseases and some other things that are not particularly about the mouth, probably from inside. The third example of bad breath I was talking about, pseudoalitosis, which is just like false bad breath, that is bad breath that is not just there. It is often in the person's mind or in the patient's head, where people care to think of, oh, I have bad breath, even while their mouth is not smelling. The major treatment and um, probably cure for this is just for a third party to give them an assurance that their mouth is actually not smelling. Just somebody telling them, oh, your breath is fine, your breath is good, and then it goes away. That is all they need. So what are the causes? What are the preventive measures and what are the natural remedies you can use in treating bad breath? This and many more are what we are going to be discussing about in today's video. Jumping right into the causes of bad breath. The number one major cause of bad breath is bacteria. These bacteria are normal flora of the mouth, that is, they live naturally in your mouth. When God created them, he created them to live in your mouth. And this is because they also have um, a positive advantage or an advantage them being in your mouth. They start the process of uh, breaking down food when you eat food. When you masticate food with saliva in your mouth, this bacteria starts to help to degrade this food so that your digestive system will be able to digest them. That is the reason why they are there. But when you leave food particles in your mouth or food debris in your mouth, this bacteria gets to continue to, you know, break down this food. They also feed on the food. And just like every living thing, when you feed, you are meant to give byproduct. So the byproduct of these bacteria is actually what's smells from your mouth just like your own byproducts smells for every living thing most often their byproduct smells and bacteria are not exempted when they live in your mouth when they break down this food it tends to their byproducts tends to smell the second major cause of byproduct of um, sorry the second major cause of bad breath that you also cannot do without is food yes food there are some foods that are naturally smelly. When you consume foods like garlic, when you consume onion, or you consume something like low-cost beans, or beans itself, it gets to smell. And when you eat this food, it is just normal that you're, you have bad breath if you don't do something about it. Another major thing is when you consume certain foods that, that have high sugar content, when you consume carbonated drinks and stuff like that, you, 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 you take um, food that are high in carbohydrates. You, you know, all these foods, the bacteria gets to act on them and then they get to give that offensive odor that you do not like. This is why when I engage with people, I tell them that it is just unfair for you to eat certain foods when you are going, when, when, when you are going to talk to a group of people. Imagine going to an interview and you just finished consuming a meal that is highly laced with low-cost beans. 
even if you are not careful, this food not only smells from your mouth, people get to perceive it on your body. So you have to be careful and you have to use things like mouthwash much often. And secondly, you, you, it is also not fair that when you go out, you don't um, brush your teeth after taking some kind of meal. And this leads us to the second cause of bad breath, which is poor oral hygiene. If your oral hygiene is poor, you will always have bad breath. It is constant because when you're talking about the issue of bacteria, if you are able to practice good hygiene, of course, you will eliminate that bad breath. When you eat certain foods and you get to practice good oral hygiene, your mouth would not always smell like what you have eaten. So poor oral hygiene ranks high amongst the causes of bad breath. And like I always tell people, when you go out, especially in the morning, Brushing your teeth, although it, it is not advised that it is a fast process, but brushing your teeth does not take you a lot of time to do, especially when you know how to brush properly. It does not really take you a lot of time to do. Just take time to brush your teeth before going out. Sometimes, even if you would not bath, I do not advise that, but if you had your bath, base the night before you might not um, want to do that or if you are rushing out but at least clean your mouth and if you are going to spend the night outside probably you are going for a vg you are going to a nightclub you are going to places like that it is just paramount it is essential for you to at least brush your mouth before going there not for your sake even if you like the bad breath it is embarrassing it makes people around you also uncomfortable. So if you can help them, please do before you leave the house. It is advised that to brush twice. From everything that I've been explaining, you should understand the main reason why you should brush before going to bed and brushing when you wake up early in the morning. This is because the bacteria that gets to break down the food in your mouth, they are always there. If you go to bed with food particles, they will have more... Uh, uh, food to break down, food to add, to act on. Let me just give you an hint to this. When these food particles, where the debris from that are remaining or the byproduct of this microorganism, all those white, white things that sometimes you notice just in, in your, on your teeth or somehow, over time, they get to form what is called plaque. That is, they stay on, on your tooth or teeth for as many as you have, as they are on. And then it forms a very hard substance called plaque that you cannot remove either by scraping it yourself or by brushing it off. And that is why you see people when they get old or, or some older women or men, you see when they laugh or you get to see that they have that, that plaque. Sometimes it's brown, sometimes it's black, just there just there and sometimes it, it it gives it causes the teeth to decay also this plaque causes the teeth to decay but sometimes you see it then you feel like oh it's because it's hold no it is not just because it's hold it's because he has not been practicing proper hygiene over time and those things have accu accumulated in his mouth causing plaque that actually smells and that is why you see some older people their mouth smells i just want to i don't want to relate this to younger generation so if you don't want to get into that kind of category when you grow up it is good to practice proper oral hygiene another major thing that causes bad breath ladies is smoking and the use of tobacco although most smokers tends to use mint or whatever after smoking it does not really work like that and if you are not careful this smoking and um, use of tobacco could lead to chronic bad breath in which the bad breath is just always there either you smoke either you don't smoke your mouth just smells constantly another thing that causes back breath is actually infection of the mouth probably you had an oral um an oral surgery or you have sores in your mouth or you have what is called gingivitis and the likes of it you, it is going to smell because there are sores just like so from any other part of the body would smell when you have sores in your mouth your mouth is tend to smell but the good thing about this is that once this condition this infection you are able to treat it or the sore is closed up and is 
killed, the smells get to stop. Another major thing that causes uh, this bad breath is dry mouth. For some reasons, some people get to experience dry mouth in which they don't produce enough saliva. Now, saliva helps to cleanse the mouth. If you don't have enough saliva, that means your mouth most often would not be clean. Saliva helps to remove food debris and um, food particles from your mouth. So when your mouth is always dry, that means you always have a larger amount of food particles left in your mouth. And these particles also sometimes causes bad breath. Another major cause of bad breath that we cannot but talk about is medications. Guys, there are some medications that when you take them, they cause your mouth to smell. This medication, sometimes it's after ingesting them just from inside or sometimes when you belch, when you belch, these things, you know, it smells and it's because of the medication. As soon as you stop taking that medication, the smells goes away. That, another cause of bad breath is having certain chronic medical conditions like kidney infections, like diabetes uh, and the likes of it. Bad breath is actually a pointer to this disease or one of the symptoms or one of the many symptoms of this particular disease. So as soon as your symptoms of this disease gets to alleviate, the bad breath gets to alleviate, to so suppresses the bad breath. And as, as much as you take your medications, it reduces the intensity of this bad breath. Some other infections of the mouth, aside gingivitis that I mentioned, is what is called tonsillitis, which is usually having a form of hard plaque stuck in your throat, somewhere in your throat, which is quite painful and very, very smelly. But as soon as you eliminate this, the odor gets to go away. Before we continue, guys, I would like you to know that this community health sensitization online platform just started a couple of weeks ago and i really love you to be a part of this channel so all you have to do is please subscribe to this channel click on that notification bell there's a bell beside the subscribe button and as soon as you upload new videos you will be notified and please this is a community ensure you drop comments let's engage with ourselves and also i'll be so much grateful if you can give this video a thumbs up that is like this video it helps youtube to recommend this video to some other persons that was going to find this very very useful and also please ensure you watch this video to the end it just generally tells youtube community that there is something great that is happening here thank you so much for being a part of this community so let's jump right into what we were talking about there are ways to actually prevent bad breath and this works guys the first thing you have to do is to cut down on certain foods like raw onion like garlic all those smelly foods like we have rightly mentioned before you know them because i might not know everything i don't know all the food that is existent in the world but you know all those smelly foods you have to cut back on them reduce the rate at which you take carbonated drinks and also you can replace snacking of donuts and all those flour snacks with um crunchy fruits like carrots like apple and the likes of it aside the fact that fruit is actually more healthier to consume it is it also helps your breath actually it helps your breath it freshens your breath you also have to stop the intake of tobacco and stop smoking because if you if you smoke now and you feel oh my breath is still intact i can keep smoking by the time you want to quit smoking you might have developed chronic halitosis Another thing you should also do is to ensure you hydrate. Remember we said the other time that dry mouth hates bad breath. So ensure you hydrate. Take a lot of water. Take the amount of water that your body needs and it helps your breath also. Another major thing that you should do like we have always discussed guys which we cannot overflog is brush properly. Brush your mouth properly and consistently i think that is the word as often as you need to do it and do it the right and the proper way ensure you brush your tongue ensure you brush your teeth brush the inner parts of your teeth brush the roof of your mouth and brush the inner part of your mouth brush your mouth it's not just teeth some people brush their teeth it's good to brush your teeth but brush your mouth your mouth when you open your mouth you know what is there you see the teeth you see your gum you see the side of your cheek the inner part of your cheek you see the roof of your mouth you see your tongue brush every part of your mouth 
as much as you can get to brush together please brush it another thing that it is advisable to do is to cut back on certain medications that gives you bad breath like you like i rightly mentioned the other time there are some medications that when you take them they make your it makes your breath smell please you can talk to your doctor to either replace these drugs for you and if there are drugs that are you, are, you don't really need you know what i'm saying between you and i you know you don't really need to take those drugs please you can just kindly stop taking those drugs now moving ahead to remedies guys salt water rinse that is you mix a teaspoon of salt with a glass of warm water and then you use that to rinse your mouth you gargle on it rinse your teeth and then you spit it out after 30 seconds remember a teaspoon of salt plus warm water a glass cup of warm water and gargle on it rinse your mouth rinse your teeth and then spit it out after 30 seconds you don't swallow it you spit it out this helps to freshen your breath another thing guys is clothes clothes are good in freshening your breath just suck on about uh, on about two or three cloves few times a day and your breath will be fresh it will be kissably sweet you know that it's be kissably sweet just take just use cloves and please don't use um clove oil or clove powder they are quite strong it is not advisable that you use that use clove it helps to freshen your breath then apple cider vinegar if you don't have apple cider vinegar at all what are you doing apple cider vinegar seems to be like the jack of all trades or the answer to all things which actually it is not i'm just using it as an example because it helps you can use it to cook you can use it to clean it serve as natural memory remedy for so many conditions so one of it is actually bad bread just mix about three teaspoons of apple cider vinegar in a glass of water and use it to rinse your mouth just like you would do with the apple cider vinegar and spit it out you can do this two or three times in a day and guys your breath is good to go another natural remedy for bad breath is making your own alcohol free mouthwash most mouthwash on the counter has alcohol in it and it sometimes makes your mouth dry because of the presence of alcohol and remember what you said about about, about dry mouth so you can make your own alcohol free mouthwash it is inexpensive and most of the ingredients you would need to make your own mouthwash is mostly in your kitchen already you don't even have to go out to buy them and they are inexpensive and it is very very simple to make i will make a video soon on how to make this inexpensive homemade alcohol free mouthwash which you can always take about with you anyway before i go away guys i need to give a big shout out to my new subscriber i would not forget that shout out to you deborah raymond i'm so grateful that you're part of here shout out to lady mac Bumi. lady mac Bumi, subscribe to this channel and she has started engaging with us shout out to you at nuke ojo she also did the same thing and then shout out to you oluwa bukola sumbo elizabeth rogers i saw your subscription i'm so grateful guys if you are new here please also subscribe and expect a shout out from me thank you so much and see you soon bye bye